And even though it's a, a mild morning for uh, mid-March, you, you probably want something hot before you head out, especially in Park City, where it's 27, actually a little bit below freezing in Roosevelt at 30. But along the Wasatch Front, our temperature is running a couple degrees higher than yesterday at this time. And we're starting out at 49. In fact, uh, 30s and 40s pretty common across the majority of the viewing area. A little warmer than that in St. George, where it's currently 50 degrees. We've got fair skies, so a quiet start to the day, but a few clouds are already starting to move into far northern Utah, and that'll make for a beautiful sunrise coming up around 730, but a cloud cover will increase a little bit heading into the afternoon. That's because of a trough of low pressure that's sliding by to our north. That'll send a very weak cold front across Utah today, kind of flattening out that ridge of high pressure, but that'll still keep it pretty mild for the time being anyway. But there's a big trough of low pressure off the coast of British Columbia. That's what will move through this weekend and bring some big changes. Now today that cold front will move across the north late morning into the afternoon, bring a slight chance of some light showers, about a 20% probability of that. And then by late afternoon into the evening, those will pop up over the central part of the state before tapering off uh, later on. So really just a drop in the bucket as that moves through. But at the same time, that front will shave a couple degrees off yesterday's high temperature. We'll make it to 63 in Salt Lake, but even though that's a little bit lower than yesterday, it's still running well above our average high of 57, so it will be another mild day. It'll be near 60 in Logan, near 50 in Park City. You make it up in the low 70s in Moab, and in St. George, you're going to peak at 74. Mid-70s in St. George again tomorrow, cooling off on Saturday. Showers late in the day as that storm moves in. They'll be a lot more likely on Sunday. You'll drop into the upper 50s by then, but dry out early next week, become partly cloudy, and warm back up into the upper 60s by the middle of next week. And in Salt Lake City, it'll be partly cloudy mid 60s tomorrow. We'll get some strong south winds ahead of the storm on Saturday. But by the afternoon, valley rain, mountain snow. Initially, snow levels start out around 7,000 feet. By Sunday, they'll drop down to about 5,000 feet. So we could get some snow mixed in with the rain in the valleys in the mornings off and on into early next week, but not expecting any accumulation. We know we will get a big drop in temperature, though. It'll hover near 50 in the afternoons early next week and in the mornings drop all the way down into the mid-30s.